and here we are we are live on facebook my name is francois nodier and i am a super teacher thank you so much for joining us it is amazing and exciting that uh, we've reached december of 2017 and the december holiday is upon us it is amazing to have time to relax a little bit but thank you very much for everybody that has decided to join us tonight for the Facebook Live. I'm going to give a few moments for people just to join in. I see Linda, as always, man, you are here as soon as I go live. It's always great to have the support of you. Thanks for being here, Linda. If you are watching this live, thank you very much. But remember, you can always catch this later on um, if you are on YouTube. I'm going to post this there, definitely. Um, but it'll also be available on the Super Teacher Solutions page. So uh, I, I'm wondering, I'm actually wondering how many teachers are going to join in for this discussion. Because uh, it's holiday, so many of you might be lying on the beach or in a restaurant or what is it? It's Wednesday afternoon. So maybe some people could be like in a club or who cares? I mean, it's holiday, so you can do whatever you want. For those of you that decided to join in, thank you so much. My idea for the following about 10, 15 minutes probably is just to have a little discussion about what were our highlights for 2017 and then what's the plans for 2018. But very important, I am also going to um, announce the winner of the education competition that we had uh, two or three weeks ago. So that's exciting stuff. But what I'd like you to do, whether you are watching this live or you're watching this later, use the comment section down below. And I'd like you to tell me what your highlights were for 2017, but then also what are your goals for 2018? Because what I'll do is I'll start off by discussing the successes of 2017, uh, just rewinding, but then I'll announce the winner after that of the competition. And then 2018, I'll discuss the plans and the goals that I have for 2018. And then lastly, I'm going to answer some questions and look at the comment section to see what uh, your highlights were and, of course, what your goals for 2018 are. So let's jump right into it. 2017 was such a great year and such an exciting year for me personally. If... Uh, we look at the content that I started to create. Remember in 2016, in August, I started the YouTube channel with the goal to inspire, motivate, and to support teachers. Because I believe strongly in community. And I want teachers to form this community of practice where we can ask each other for assistance. And I know there are many Facebook uh, groups um, that have started these communities. And it's such a pleasure to be a part of it. It's so great to see um, how teachers just jump in and assist each other. So always great to see that. But the support and the, the feeling of community um, is great. So what I wanted to do with the, with the YouTube channel is just to create a few videos that could support teachers in the general, like um, frequently asked questions or the things that just get teachers down and just have this variety of content that teachers can go to for support. But then, as I said, the community. In January 2017, I started this Facebook page. And I really didn't um, expect it to grow as this one did. It was absolutely amazing. I can't remember the exact date, but it was somewhere between the 3rd and the 6th of January that I started this page. And um, now it's grown to more than 3,200 members on the page, which I'm extremely thankful for. Thank you to each and every one of you that um, like the page and are communicating and in, um, uh, what's the word, um, discussing all of the, the, the um, yo, I lost my words. It must be December. Uh, but thank you very much for um discussing um, all the challenges and all the joys we have in education. I see Elzan and Michelle have joined us as well. Thank you very much for being here. Um, all ladies, as it is in education, we are so um, outnumbered. Um, <laughs> but ladies, if you could add into the comment section your um, uh, uh, successes of 2017, your highlights of 2017, and then 
um, your plans and your goals for 2018. It would be great to see what you have uh, planned for 2018 and what your successes were. So put that down in the comment section down below. We can discuss that a bit later on. If any one of you are on holiday, you can also post some photos down there so we can all just be extremely envious of what's happening in your lives. 2017, as I said, we started this page. And what was amazing for me is to see the value that companies have in this. Um, I'm extremely fortunate to have been approached by the Education Network, Shari and Mabs and Dan and the team, everybody that joined from um, Education Network. Thank you very much for all of your support. I mean, without sponsors, it's extremely difficult to um, get a program like this going. So thank you very much for your support. And later on in the year, close here to uh, October, School Advisor also joined. Um, and they became a media, or I became a media partner of them. Um, and it's great to see how companies are investing in social media platforms because they know this is where we can really make a contribution. So thank you very much to our sponsors. It's always great to have you on board. Um, of course, a big thank you in 2017 to Sinead. Sinead is the editor of the YouTube videos. Um, without her, this would have been uh, extremely, extremely difficult. And I'm looking forward to our partnership going forward. Um, I'm not going to talk about 2018 yet, but there's a, 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 a big change coming, uh, which uh, I'll allude to a, a bit later on. The other thing that happened in 2017 that I was quite astounded by is that um, I got more invitations to do public speaking. So I had the opportunity to go and address learners at schools, but as well as teachers and do some workshops with them, but also do some motivational type um, of presentations. So uh, thank you very much to every single school, every single um, corporate, because there were a few corporate gigs that I also did speaking engagements. Thank you so much for allowing me and giving me the platform to um, expand this notion of super teachers. Um, I know the Northwest University actually um, had quite a lot to do with the super teacher movement. Um, and also, as well as the University of Johannesburg also had some nice discussion with students and with staff members regarding what it means to be a super teacher. So that is what happened in 2017. But I thought what I'd do is just give you a rundown of the three most popular videos on the YouTube channel, um, because that gives me a quite a, a nice indication of uh, what it is that you guys like to see. So I'd like to ask if you've got any suggestions for topics for 2018, other types of videos that I could do, it would be great. Leave that in the comment section down below. Of course, I'd like to plan and schedule uh, my videos going forward. So it would always be great to get your input and see what it is that you would like um, to see on the YouTube channel. So coming in in third place for this year, is our sponsored video by the Education Network on discipline. Um, the different, the five tips for improving the discipline in your classroom. Now that's been such a contentious issue and an issue that teachers struggle with on a daily basis to, uh, to sort out the classroom discipline. So that was a great video and got a lot of support. And then I think it was a month ago or three weeks ago, we had Bridget Thompson in to speak about assertive discipline, uh, which is also quite a popular video. Then in number two, and this is one that's growing very, very quickly. And um, I'm almost saddened by it, but I mean, it's good content at the end of the day. It's something every teacher wants to know. And that video is all about what teachers can do with their degrees except for teaching. What else can we do with our teaching degrees? So um, that one is climbing in the ranks and I really think it's going to become the most popular video on the channel. I'm very saddened by the idea that so many teachers are, are contemplating leaving education, but that's something, that's a reality. We see it happening on the daily where teachers are leaving the profession because of all the systemic issues. Um, but those of us that really stay on, just keep on staying strong. And then the most popular video, and who would have thought, was the video on fidget spinners and how we can include fidget spinners in our teaching. But what happened in that video is that we um, 
uh, ask you guys on Facebook, on the different Facebook groups as well as on this page, what are your thoughts on the fidget spinners? Is it irritation? How do you feel about this whole idea that people are using it um, as a way to um, distract from things like ADHD or ADD, where it becomes a fidget toy that helps them focus? And that was a very, very popular video, but it also helped that Parent24 picked up the video and then made a blog about it. Um, so we got a lot of views um, from parents wanting to know what do teachers think about fidget spinners. So that was quite cool. Thank you very much for everybody, for every single view that you give on uh, the videos on YouTube. That is so, so great. And I'm overwhelmed by um, your support. But I think it is time for the moment of truth to announce the winner of the Eduvation Network competition. Remember, if you look at the previous video, that's the one on assertive discipline with Bridget Thompson. If you answered the question of the week and you went onto the Eduvations platform, you could have completed an entry form and then um, a winner was chosen. So the winner of a six month subscription to the value of 25 CPTD points goes to, drum roll, Maeve Engelbrecht from Ridgeview Primary School. Maeve, congratulations. Thank you for your comment and for entering the competition. Thank you so, so, so much for being part of our competition. One of our friendly friends over at the Eduvation Network, they will be contacting you so that you can claim your prize. So that is very, uh, congratulations to Maeve. 2018, what does that have in store for Super Teachers Unite and for Super Teacher Solutions? First of all, more of the same. Just creating more content, getting that out onto Facebook, getting that onto uh, YouTube, as well as onto Instagram. Um, I see there's a great following um, on, Inst uh, on Instagram, a lot of people engaging on Instagram, whether it be with the stories or whether it is with uh, the actual posts on Instagram. Always great to have interaction with teachers there. So my idea would be to, of course, grow the audience and get more super teachers to unite under one banner so that we can make a positive difference in each and every classroom. So if you would, uh, if of course, you are already part of the, the community, but it would be great if you can spread the word and get other teachers to join us on this platform to start this community, as I said earlier in the video, so that we can grow this community and support each other and motivate and inspire. Because when teachers are motivated and when teachers want to make a difference in the lives of children, we're going to see such great success in this country. And boy, do we need it. Welcome also to Lilani. Great to have you here. And as well as Melinda, great having you guys on our live stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um, as I said to everybody else that joined, make sure that you leave a comment where you explain your highlights of 2017 as well as your goals for 2018. It would be great to see what uh, your goals were or are and then what you did in 2017 that you find is a highlight. And we'll discuss that towards the end. More plans for 2018. Um, I've started a website earlier in the year and I'd really like to expand on that and get more traffic to the website because that's another avenue where we can get information and how we can um, ensure that teachers get the content that they need. One of the things that we started on the website is of course the online store where you can buy shirts like this one, the I teach one or the exams are coming. And we'd like to expand on the range of merchandise um, for just fun things that teachers can do, um, just to show that we are super teachers. Um, you'll see in the background here, there are a few mugs. Now I can't point to them. There's one, the exams are coming mug, and there's an I teach mug. I'd like to add that to the online store um, and just expand on that. So thank you for your support there. Um, for That's for 2018. But now a big one on a personal note, is I would like to finish my PhD. I've enrolled in a PhD. I've started in 
2014 and I'm so close to finishing. So I definitely now need to finish my own studies um, and it is in education, of course. So um, that's my personal goal for 2018. Really looking forward to getting that qualification. Yeah, so that in short is what I attempted to do with this video and I'm absolutely loving the timing of this video because we're on 15 minutes and I really wanted to keep it short. So thank you very much for everybody that joined in. I definitely can see that our normal crowd are all on holiday. They're done with their marking. Definitely um, not going to spend their time as much um, watching the Facebook Live, but I know a lot of teachers like catching up afterwards um, when we upload to YouTube and onto the, um, the Facebook page. So, and of course, I see Jan is also here. Jan, great to have you. So, um, I see Melinda, your goal is to survive having a child in grade R. My sympathies, my absolute and utter sympathies with that. Grade R is such an important year. Um, it's the first year of almost, I almost want to say formal schooling, even though it isn't that formal. Just be careful if I can give you some advice. A lot of schools are, 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 the word that I'd like to use is try to get too formal in grade R and they forget to play. So if your child is in grade R, Melinda, let them play. Just let them play. They'll, um, of course, the teachers will assist them and they will learn the skills that they need to know in order to go to grade one. But let them play. <laughs> and I see that you added that you hope that there isn't too much school politics. I'm sorry, but that'll always be there. Um, there's always the issues between parents and teachers and teachers and parents and um, principals and the kids. But this is the important thing. We need to remember that at the end of the day, it is all about the children. The principal's job, the uh, teacher's job is to ensure the best possible education of the children. And I know that is, of course, the parents' goal as well. And if we don't work together, if we don't cre create that community of trust between the teaching staff and parents, I mean, it's just so much more difficult to educate a child. So good luck with grade R, Melinda. Um, uh, it's an interesting 13 years of schooling that lies ahead. Um, but I'm sure that you guys will pull it off. Also, welcome to Shireen. Great to have you part of this live video. But it looks like that is the end. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comment section. Um, I'll be sure to go through all the comments afterwards. Um, and then, as I said, make sure that we spread the word and we get more and more teachers onto the Super Teachers Unite and Super Teacher Solutions platforms. We've got another comment from Lelani. Lelani says her goal for 2018. Now, um, I see there's a, a list coming. Uh, she says, greening a school in Orange Farm through an innovative or innovation called initiative. I should definitely start reading. Um, an initiative called Operation Green Support. I would like to know more, so I think it's definitely time that uh, a lot of us get together again. So you can tell us all about Operation Green Support. Um, if you're greening a school, does that mean you're planting more trees, getting in vegetable gardens? I would really like to know more. So maybe if you can get a, uh, leave us a link um, to that, and if people want to get involved, that would be great. Ladies and gentlemen, super teachers, I think it is time for me to sign off. Thank you very much for engaging in this video and for the support. I've been saying this now for 20 minutes on end. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you do for me. And I'm definitely going to try and up the ante and get more good quality content out for you. My wish for you is that you rest and you are ready for January um, that we can go and make that difference in each and every classroom. If you're celebrating the holidays, if you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas, um, enjoy the new year, um, and just relax and enjoy every single minute. If you'd like to know about what you can do during the holidays, watch the previous video that we posted about five things I think every teacher should do during the holiday. Um, but I'm done with the plug now. I'm going to say good night, enjoy your holiday, until 2018. Cheers.